In this video, I'm gonna be redesigning our old crappy thumbnails. We talk a lot about thumbnails on this channel. They are a crucial piece of media on your page because they are the first impression that someone will get of your new video. I used to be very bad at designing thumbnails. I thought about YouTube thumbnails in the same way that I think about my personal Instagram page. I was very concerned about having somewhat of a cohesive brand feed when someone would click on our YouTube page. That is not the way to think about YouTube thumbnails. They each have to be a standalone piece of eye-catching artwork, preferably a little clickbaity. We found that bright colors work really well, up close faces work really well, whether it's Aaron or myself or a celebrity, or someone that we're discussing within the video. Those are a couple of things that we include to get more clicks on our videos. And finally, we try to really limit the text in our thumbnails. We find that thumbnails cluttered with a lot of text don't perform quite as well as videos where the thumbnail has very minimal text and really striking imagery. So today, I'm gonna go back on our YouTube channel and redesign some of the worst thumbnails that we have associated with some of the best and highest potential videos that we have. Basically what I'm looking for here is a topic or a video that would still have a lot of potential to perform well in search today. So all of our old rundown thumbnails are really bad. They are just a screenshot of myself and Aaron in the video as we're doing the rundown. And we sometimes threw on the logo of a company that we were discussing. I'm actually going to look for one of the rundowns that we talked about we work on uh, because that new documentary just aired on Hulu. It could be interesting if someone is looking into that story. A good striking thumbnail could get them to click on our video despite the fact that it was published over a year ago. So I'm gonna take a photo of Adam's face and I'm just gonna select with the Smart Select tool in Photoshop and then drag that selection into the thumbnail file. And because this was a story where we talked about we were kind of blowing up and Newman's bailout, I'm gonna keep the colors really warm and pretty harsh. I'm gonna throw in some flames behind him as well. And for text, again, we wanna keep this to minimal text, but we do want to explain what we're talking about in the video. Bailout should definitely be on there. And instead of saying Adam Newman bailout, I'm just gonna find the WeWork logo and insert that instead. And that's it. Such an improvement from the original thumbnail and you don't really have to wonder at all what we talk about in the video and in the rundown. So I'm very happy with this. One of the most popular videos on our channel is Aaron's interview with Dr. Timothy Wong. The thumbnail could use some punching up. It's not terrible right now and this video did get a ton of clicks, but I think we can make it even more iconic catching. So we're going to shift from the red color palette to a cooler color palette just because a lot of brands in the healthcare industry stick to cool color palettes. You see a lot of blues, a lot of grays. Those colors are generally supposed to be soothing, meditative, calming, which you want to feel all of those feelings when you're visiting a doctor's office. So I've grabbed a couple of images of Dr. Wong here that I can choose from. This one seems to be high enough quality, so I'm just going to quick select him and then drag him into the new thumbnail file. I think what really worked well in the first thumbnail is the text, see the doctor for just $35. That definitely got a lot of clicks. I might wanna make that bright green just to add a little, ooh, I actually really like that. That's definitely more eye-catching than just uh, the full uniform white text. Okay, this is a super simple thumbnail, but again, simplicity works 
really, really well. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. We post more content like this on a weekly basis. And if you're an OG, if you've been with us since we were pumping out these old thumbnails, credit to you. Thanks for sticking around.